a story in many, many parts for the 115th Bedlam Showdown. The Sooners came out rolling. Three drives, three touchdowns to start the game. One of those drives began at the 20 after a batted pass was picked off. Spencer Sanders whipped down onto his back by Ronnie Perkins. He left the game for a while, but he returned in the fourth. Shane Illingworth came in, drove down for a touchdown. OSU was in business, but the Sooners kept their distance, and they now control their destiny once again in the Big 12. Sooners win Bedlam. How about it? Sports director Caden McFarlane is live in Norman. Caden, all Sooners in this one, my man. How about it? Chris, you know, the knockout punches weren't thrown until the fourth quarter, but the way OU came out throwing haymakers in the first nine minutes, it staggered OSU to such an extent that really they were just never able to recover. You mentioned it. Spencer Rattler with three touchdowns on the first three drives, one running and then two passing, and the defense did its part as well. David Aguebu with the diving interception, that was huge, setting up the third Sooner score as they just continued to keep that momentum. And then Ronnie Perkins knocking Spencer Sanders out of the game with a big hit and a sack. He was out for about two quarters. Shane Ellingworth came in, and it was good at the start, leading a first-quarter touchdown drive, but he ends up completing only five of 21 passes. Really didn't give OSU much of a shot. And look, for Mike Gundy, how disappointing must this be? He drops to 2-14 and 14 in Bedlam games. We said before the game, if not now, when? He had a top-10 defense, best defense he's brought here to Norman maybe ever. Tylen Wallace, Chuba Hubbard, all-American talents, they stick around, coming back to win a game like this, presumably. And you're not even close. 41-13 the final score. And as you mentioned, the most important piece of all of this, the Sooners now in control of their Big 12 championship game, Destiny, and OSU with the real hill to climb. OU's rolling, man. They call it championship November around here. Lincoln Riley has yet to lose in the month of November. The way they played tonight, it's hard to imagine this team losing to anybody in the Big 12. It, it, it wouldn't surprise any of us to see them going for their sixth straight Big 12 championship in Arlington next month. Sooners defeating the Cowboys 41-13. They now control their Big 12 championship destiny and have won six straight against the Cowboys in their 90th in this Bedlam series. That does it from here in Norman at Gaylord Memorial Stadium. Chris, back to you. Caden, thank you so much. Fantastic reporting, man. Ever since Ronnie Perkins and Ramon J. Stevenson came back, this team has just been totally different, and they showed it tonight. This team is just so good, and they, I think, are bouncing back to become one of the favorites now in the Big 12. Should be very interesting the rest of the way.